Hey, hello everyone, I'm David Guerrero and welcome back to another video here on Many Ways Films. In the video of today, you're gonna see me shooting with a Fuji disposable camera. We just had some fun taking pictures. I think that these are great cameras. If you wanna get started and you wanna get an idea of what uh, the film process is, I would just recommend to get a disposable. Uh, when I started film, I got a $150 camera and a $50 lens and I spent like $30 on film plus another $30 in developing. It's a little bit more convenient to get a $15, $17 camera in some places, a disposable camera. You can find some Kodak or Fuji. In my case, I just went with Fuji. I really like the Fuji colors and, um, and it was just uh, $15 for process and developing uh, and scans. So I think it's a pretty good deal if you want to get the feel for it and also even if you are an experienced photographer and you've shot film in the past these are really fun cameras to shoot with so we're gonna go ahead and start with the video of today <laughs> trying to I think that's gonna be good because every time I put it on this side it keeps falling so hopefully you can hear me good not too loud not too quiet testy testy I think I I think we're about the same incredible that was fast I didn't catch that I love the sound of uh, <laughs> reloading. Yeah, when you're reloading. The sound on these cameras is like so quiet. You can barely he hear when you take a picture. And it's very, very um, underwhelming, I guess it's the word, where when you're using a SLR, you can totally hear and feel the shutter, but here it's just like a very, very quiet sound. Ah, my knees! I'm gonna take another one just because it's fun. I feel like it would it would look pretty cool. How cool, right? Very impressive. That was cool. Yeah, I'm a photographer. <laughs> I take pictures of uh, Fay phones. I'm so cool. We found something. We found something. He found it. This looks like um, I've been watching a lot of Breaking Bad lately. <laughs> and I feel like. We'll see. A lot of um, these houses, I believe they're like a hundred years old. Probably not this ones. I would think they're like 70 years old. I just like how 
this type of houses look, you know, like they have bricks and they have like the same paint they probably had like, what, 20 years ago. I just think uh, it looks pretty unique. Uh, oh, good shot. Great work. What I'm looking for here is um, contrast. Right, we found this, what is called carniceria, which is a Mexican store for different types of meat. It's all in Spanish, so we'll try to translate it. It says a fresh meat, basically beef. They have a little, some pork base. I don't see any chicken, but it's between, um, it's between beef and pork, and maybe a little of, uh, what's it called? A cheap, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Exotic meats, that's what I would call it. He found a... So I was able to get, let's see, 26 uh, pictures. Uh, you are supposed to get 27, but I messed up one of them uh, really bad. I just shot it on my pocket. So I'm gonna recommend don't advance the film uh, if you're not ready to shoot. Uh, it's nice that you have to advance a good amount in order to take the next picture So just don't even advance the film if you're not ready to take it other than that I will probably recommend if you're indoors to use the flash all the time Obviously if you're in a place where there's a lot of light uh, That it's pretty close to daylight. You're not gonna need to do this, but you really need a lot of light to be able to get a really nice picture you saw some examples here where even at daylight uh, the shadow areas they're too dark when I shot uh, one of them indoors at the Chick-fil-a uh, the pictures well the picture didn't look really good it looked pretty bad so just have that in mind other than that I feel like this camera is fun to use It's very convenient uh, you can find it at Walmart Amazon there's some um, film stores that have it. I've also seen them uh, at pharmacies. Uh, the image is pretty soft in general, but especially on the edges. Normally I would think this is a bad thing, but I actually really like how it looks on these pictures. The, the images are also pretty grainy. So again, that's one of the reasons people shoot film so they can have that grain on it it's one of the beauties of film and in the end you get pretty interesting results um, shooting film is fun it's not much uh, difference in terms of you know experience you know taking the picture taking it to developing waiting to get your scans and enjoy the results so it's not a bad idea for someone who wants to get into film photography especially since it's 35 millimeter film photography to 35 millimeter photography uh, again pretty convenient and pretty interesting results so uh, that's all i gotta say thanks uh, for watching if you have any questions just let me know down here don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video see ya closer <laughs> wow <laughs>